we have been really busy with the Morocco group. Um, Chris did a, an offer yesterday, lost in competition. There was 11 offers. Randy's lost at least five deals in the last four or five weeks. Um, I lost two deals in the last two weeks and probably about seven or eight in the last four or five weeks. So there's a very low inventory out there. And we've had a low inventory for, for quite a while. Um, that's why you were seeing quite a spike in prices and a lot of competition again in the, uh, you know, February, February and even the, the, the first week of March before COVID really kind of slowed things down. We still have low inventory and that is keeping prices quite stable. So you see a lot of articles and, and, and media kind of, you know, sharing the doom and gloom, uh, you know, sales plummet. Like obviously sales, sales are down, but the prices are not down. For some reason, the media continues to, you know, that, that seems to be their headlines, always bad news. And so, you know, I, I question it um, because what, what we see right now, even with, especially with Remax and Scarbon, you know, prices are very steady. There still is a shortage of inventory. Um, and when we're out of this COVID situation, there still is gonna be a shortage of inventory. Um, so like even the predictions of 10, 20% decrease coming, uh, I don't see it happening. And you know, you had a, a six week period where no permits were being pulled. So you, you'll have even less um, inventory from the new construction phase because they were stopped for you know six or eight weeks, whatever it may have been. You know, one thing in, in Stony Creek, it's called the Scooby Stony Creek Urban Expansion Project. They're looking to add 40 to 60,000 new homes in Stony Creek. Um, and that tells you, you know, from a, from a uh, you know, government level that there is a need for these homes. Uh, so we've known that for you know, quite a while now, that inventory is short. And uh, the problem with low inventory is it does push prices higher. It's supply and demand, it's straight economics. So, you know, stuff like the Scooby Stony Creek Ur Urban Expansion Project is great uh, because they're trying to add as many homes as possible so that, you know, things can level out a bit. We don't expect drops, but the more inventory we can have, you know, the more affor affordable houses could be. So, yeah, no, I, I'm very, very, very confident that the real estate market is still strong. Um, it's still a good time to buy. It's still a good time to sell. And I think especially if you're <laughs> if you're gonna be uh, you know buying something for the long term, like you know if you're questioning, you know, I want to make a move from say a townhouse to a detached home, and is this the right time to buy? You know, nobody has a crystal ball, so um, nobody can tell you for certain anything. But especially if it's your principal place of residence, jump in, you know, buy the house. You don't have a crystal ball. We don't know if it's gonna drop. We don't know if it's gonna spike. So just live your life. You know, if, if, if you're at a phase in your life where you need a bigger home and you want it to up, upsize, do it. If you're gonna be there for, you know, five, 10, 15 years the market will do what the market does and uh, you know throughout history it's about three percent increase uh, per year on average so you know if you're going to be there for 10 years even if you have a dip um, in the next six months or three months if you're going to be there for five or ten years it will rebound and you will uh, be in a positive equity situation so, you know, don't, don't stop what you're doing because of, um, you know, thoughts that it might go bad. I've had friends of mine who, you know, seven years ago said to me, oh, I think there's a correction coming and I'm going to wait. I'm going to save my money and I'm going to wait. Well, you know, especially in the last six, seven years in, in Hamilton, you weren't seeing 3% increases. You were seeing 7, 10 
percent increases. So you know, uh, uh, the average house, the average house, you know, is five hundred thousand. A three percent increase is fifteen. A ten percent increase, you know, is fifty thousand. Are you saving fifty thousand dollars in a year? I, uh, you know, it's pretty hard to do. So, um, you know, and those the, the the friends of mine and the clients of mine that that six years ago, five years ago said. You know, I'm going to wait for the market to take a dip because it's coming. Lost out, lost out on a ton of upswing. So, you know, again, nobody has a crystal ball, but real estate has been one of the best investments um, throughout history. It's been made more millionaires than any other industry, and so you know, I really think the one thing that you you know is limited is land. So. I'm always a firm believer that it's great to get a brick and mortar investment and whether it's your principal place of residence or an income property, buy real estate with me.